What's up guys, J.R. Raymond back again coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside Waterford Lanes, where today I'm going to teach you a little trick where you can actually check your fit on your own and see if uh, you have the right angles, see if you have the right pitches, the right hole size, and it's simply by checking one little thing, and I'm going to show you what that is here in a minute. Stay tuned. So there's one thing you can actually do that can check to see if your ball is close to fitting you properly. Now one thing you want to know is do you have to squeeze the ball at all in order to have the ball stay in your hand? Because there's certain positions in, positions in the swing where most people, they actually feel like their ball is going to fall off their hand and they don't know how to correct it. You know, and a lot of it is a pitch thing. It's a lot of hole size thing. Usually it's because they have a circle thumb instead of an oval, which I always, it seems like almost everybody that comes in here, if they got a ball drilled somewhere else, they've got a circle in their ball and they've got a super flat thumb. So now I got to redrill their thumb to make it fit properly. And then every time they leave here, they're like, holy cow, I had no idea a ball was supposed to feel like that. Well, yeah, you shouldn't have to squeeze. You shouldn't have to, or at least you shouldn't have to squeeze a lot. You always have to squeeze a little bit in certain ways uh, to get the ball to stay on. But this is one way you can check if, you, if your ball actually is gonna stay on your hand throughout your swing or not. So when you put your hand in the ball all the way and then you hang it by your side, you should be able to relax your hand completely and this ball is not gonna come off your hand. Like if I wiggle it, maybe I can, if I wiggle it enough, I can finally get it to go, come on, come on, there we go. Now I can finally get it to come off, but I gotta slowly wiggle it off there. Now, to get the ball to come off my hand easier, all I have to do now is just go from down to where it won't come off and just raise my hand up to where it's parallel and then all of a sudden it just comes right off my hand. Okay, so the reason for that is the ball's not gonna come off your hand until your thumb is parallel with the ground. So when your hand is this way, it's not gonna come off your hand. So this is a tip for those who, uh, maybe you have a really tight thumb hole, but um, you make it, you thumb it down and you come over the top of it too much because you're afraid it's not gonna come off your hand. You know, so, you get to the bottom and then you go this way and then you push your thumb forward like this down and now you're struggling and you feel like the ball hangs up all the time. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we can get to the bottom of the swing and our thumb gets parallel. When our thumb gets parallel here, now the ball starts to come off and it rolls right off your hand right there. But if our thumb is down on top of the ball this way, the ball won't come off your hand very well at all. Well, we like your help, I appreciate your help, but you gotta move. <laughs> He's a, He's the superstar of the channel, if you guys didn't already know that. But once we get to the bottom, if our thumb is on top, if our hand is on top, the ball won't come off my hand very easily. So if I demonstrate and just kind of throw one shot like this, where my hand is like this, okay, and my thumb is on top, I can't even let go of the ball. Like, <laughs> it won't even come off my hand if I do that. But if I swing it and I get my hand in the right position and I get my hand under it, now, the ball just floats right off my hand because from here, my ball, my hand gets flat. My parallel thumb gets parallel right here to the ground. And what I mean parallel, for those of you who maybe don't know what that is, is this is level straight across. So if this is this and this is this, it's parallel with the lane, just like that. I know, really easy things that most people probably already know, but I kind of want to run you through it anyway. So make sure when you test it, let me see that. Thanks, buddy. When you test it, Put it down by your hand, by your side, and you should be able to wiggle your hand and it shouldn't come off until you raise your hand up, until your thumb gets parallel, and then it should make it much easier for it to just come right off, okay? And if you feel hang on a certain part, if you get to there, like me, I'm a little swelled up, so I feel it hanging on that left side of my thumb a little bit, might need to take a piece of tape out. You need to change the shape. If you go up with your hand and you bring your wrist up to where your thumb is parallel and you feel it hang at all, then you need to check that spot. You can check and maybe maybe make some changes to the thumb hole, whatever you may need to do. So I hope this helps. This should make it a little bit to where you can kind of get an idea if, if your ball fits properly or if your ball is even close to fitting properly. Because if you get it down here and your hand's on top and it just falls right off your hand, that's probably not a good thing. You definitely need to recheck your fit. It should stay on your hand when your hand is on the top of it like that. So check that out. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I kind of want to do a poll. Everybody that sees this video, comment in the bottom. When you try this, does it stay on your hand when you put your th thumb down like that, or does it fall right off? 
you know, tell me whether it falls off or doesn't fall off in the comments below, and we'll go back through, and maybe we can make some suggestions to fix it. But until next time, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.